Hello again, it's Tim from oraclebase.com. Functions that return collections are known as table functions. They can be quite useful in SQL sometimes because you can query them as if they're real tables. In this video you'll see why pipeline table functions are superior to regular table functions when we're dealing with large result sets. The first thing we'll do is create two database types for use with our table functions. The first is the row type, the second is the table type. Next we create a conventional table function. Notice the return value is the table type we created previously. The function accepts two parameters. The first parameter indicates how many rows should be returned. The second parameter is the length of sleep that's necessary between rows. This will come in handy for a test we're going to do in a moment. The code loops through the specified number of times, extending the collection and populating it with dummy data. Once the collection is populated, it then returns it. Here we're building a pipeline table function that performs the same action. Notice the pipeline keyword and the pipe row command. Each row is piped out or streamed as it's produced rather than being returned as a whole collection. As a result of this, we have an empty return call. With a table function and pipeline table function in place, we can start to do some comparisons. We query the table function asking for 10 rows with a half second pause between each row. All the rows were returned in a single block. This is because the whole collection was resolved in memory first before it was passed out. This can represent a significant lag time when dealing with large collections. The pipeline table function starts to stream rows as soon as they're created. As well as reducing the lag time for the production of the first row, this can also result in significant memory savings for pipeline table functions over conventional table functions. For our next test, we'll need to create this function, which returns the value associated with a specified statistic for the session. Between each test, we'll reconnect to the database to make sure we have a clean session. We check the current PGA memory allocation for the session and then loop through 100,000 rows returned by the conventional table function. We then check the memory allocation again and the difference between the two is the amount of memory we've allocated as a result of running this code. We can see we allocated over 22 million bytes to the PGA. Before starting the next test, we reconnect to the database to make sure we have a clean session. We then repeat the previous test, but this time use the pipeline table function. Rather than allocating over 22 million bytes, we've allocated just over 65,000 bytes. So if you need to use a table function in an SQL statement, it probably makes sense to switch it to a pipeline table function if you're dealing with lots of rows. There are a number of issues you need to be aware of when dealing with table functions and pipeline table functions, so check out the links in the description box. Thanks for watching. Hit like if you liked the video and subscribe if you'd like to see more.